Kevin. What are you doing? I am going to sit here and fuse weld this together. Hopefully to show why you can fuse the piece together and why you shouldn't. You know what fuse welding is, right? Tell us more. Okay. Fuse welding is when you take your TIG torch and you got two pieces of metal and you just melt the metal from this piece and this piece and just let them flow together and fill your joint in that way rather than using a piece of filler rod. There are good times to do it. There are bad times to do it. And there are times that it doesn't really matter. So this is just a, two pieces of uh, eighth-inch plate that I got out of the scrap pile. And I just ground the edges clean a little, got the scale off of it. See my little lift kit? Cool. Why did I do that? So you don't weld it to the table? Very good. <laughs> yeah, I put it underneath there to pick it up off the table so I don't fuse it right to the table when I try to weld it. And to get it up off that one inch thick plate so it's easier to heat up the plate that I want to weld rather than having to heat up this whole big portion of this table. This makes it easier, makes it quicker to weld, and you don't weld it to the table. Been there, done that. So we'll just go ahead and fire up the Longevity TIG Weld 250 over here. And I've got it set to run on the foot pedal rather than on the torch trigger so I can control the amperage a little easier. And what I've done in my joint, instead of leaving any kind of a gap in there like you normally would, eighth inch plate, leave a sixteenth of a gap so you can get a nice, uh, nice bead down inside there to weld everything together. I went ahead and I just pushed them together tight because I'm just going to fuse it. So I want to steal from both sides a little bit and help pull it together. a little spot on one end, tried to fuse a spot on the other, and the metal had already moved because I didn't clamp it down. So I added just a tiny little bit of filler rod there just to help fuse it together. And now I'm going to come back and just fuse, try to fuse that whole joint. And I'll show you why you really shouldn't do it this way structurally. Structurally, keeping in mind I'm not a certified welder, this is just what I've learned. Structurally, this is weaker than if I use the filler rod on it because I've stolen metal from both pieces of the plate. So it's not eighth inch anymore at that joint. It's actually a little less than that because I pulled them in to, in to fill the joint in. See, the problem is now that joint is actually thinner than the metal around it. Can you see the daylight under the ruler? So that weld is actually dished a little bit. You know, instead of being level with the metal or slightly over the metal, it's, it's a little hollow, so it's a little thinner than it should be. Even if you went on the back side and fused it there, you still wouldn't have an eighth of an inch thick worth of weld there to go with the rest of the eighth inch metal. So a butt joint fused together, really not a good idea structurally. Depends on what what you're doing with it. You know, a lot of the times when I'm doing making my art, I can get away with a joint like this. But out in the real world, check check your plans. Make sure you know what kind of joint you're supposed to be using. So, uh, you know, a butt joint like that, filler rod, absolutely. You could tack it on both ends, fuse it on both ends, just to hold it together, so you can grab the filler rod, so then you can go ahead and do it. But that's the only way. Now, a different way, you know, a different joint that I use a lot is some kind of a corner joint. 
a joint like this, I'll go ahead and tack it and tack it and then just fuse the whole thing if I want a nice round corner when I'm done because I'm just going to steal metal from both sides it's going to wind up a nice little curve on there as I work down that joint if I want a nice sharp square flat corner where after I grind it it's just this perfectly straight razor seam right on the edge filler up best way to do it inside inside that in this area in here, filler rod, absolutely all the time. Just to try to fuse that together, you're stealing from both sides, you're gonna have a really weak joint when you get done. Something to play with, you know, go out and get shop, grab you some scrap, play around with it a little bit, you get a piece all welded together, take it to the anvil and beat it. You know, put it in the vise, flex it a little bit, see how quick it breaks. Weld it back together, use filler rod, try it again. Great little way to learn. I'll see y'all next time.